You and I talked at the beginning of last week, and in that conversation, you said that Netanyahu's government was in a particularly difficult position. Has that, has that position gotten more difficult over the past week and a half? Well, I think Netanyahu's position has maybe come under additional pressure. Uh, there's been some comments uh, from other officials in the government, including his chief negotiators, who are now currently in Doha, suggesting that pressure is building around the prime minister to yield to the pressures and agree uh, to a deal. Uh, one of the major obstacles in reaching a deal over the last several weeks have been new demands that Netanyahu himself uh, has uh, brought into the negotiating table. He's trying to push for tougher conditions regarding uh, Hamas, uh, regarding the Gaza border with Egypt, the Philadelphia corridor. He is pushing for much tougher restrictions on the movement of civilians inside Gaza. And these conditions, these new demands, are preventing a deal from coming together. Some comments from his negotiators suggest that there are pressures building inside the government to try to get the prime minister to agree to a deal. Whether or not those pressures produce any kind of meaningful change in his position remains to be seen. But his position and the position, the condition of Israeli government continues to be a precarious one.